The lookouts on the Titanic worked in shifts that changed every two hours. There were six lookouts who worked in pairs in their shifts. When the ship struck the iceberg, Frederick Fleet and Reginald Lee were at the crow's nest. But there was another lookout named Archibald or Archie Jewell who was not on his shift at that time. He not only survived the Titanic, but also survived the sinking of Titanic's sister ship, the Britannic. This is his story. Archie Jewell was born in 1888. In 1903, at the age of 15, he began working on smaller sailing ships. He joined the White Star Line in 1904 and served as a full seaman on the Oceanic for almost eight years during which he lived in Southampton. On 6 April 1912, Archie Jewell was transferred to the Titanic as one of the six lookouts. He was in his room when Titanic struck the iceberg. He went up to the boat deck where he boarded lifeboat number 7, the first lifeboat to be lowered from the Titanic. After arriving in New York City on the RMS Carpathia, he returned to England on April 29, 1912 on board the SS Lapland. He was one of the first witnesses interviewed by Lord Justice Mercy on May 3, 1912 before the British Committee of Enquiry on the accident. At least 331 questions were asked. In an evocative letter to one of his sisters in Cornwall, just 11 days after the Titanic disaster, a 23-year-old Jewel described the sinking of the liner and the immediate aftermath. Jewel later worked on the HMHS Britannic during the First World War. On November 21, 1916, the Britannic hit a German naval mine and sank in about 55 minutes. He survived the sinking of the Britannic along with two other Titanic survivors, Violet Jessup, a stewardess, and Arthur John Priest, a stoker on the Titanic. In 1916, Jewel left the White Star Line and was hired on the SS Donegal, a passenger ship put into service in 1904. The Donegal was converted into a hospital ship during the First World War and transported wounded soldiers from France to England. On 1st March 1917, she came under attack by a German submarine. She was badly damaged but was never repaired. On 17th April 1917, another German submarine fired without warning on the Donegal. The ship went down in the English Channel. This time, Jules was not so lucky. The 28-year-old was one of the 12 crew members who died along with 29 British soldiers. Jules' body was never recovered. Arthur John Priest, the fellow Titanic and Britannic survivor, was also on board the Donegal, but he survived. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.